Today I'll be demonstrating how to clean the sensor of uh, Nikon D810 and I'll be using Visible Dust products. Uh, Visible Dust has three different uh, cleaning solutions. One is alcohol based with blue cap, it's called Vdust Plus. And the uh, second one is sensor clean, is water based uh, and it's a green cap. It's excellent for saliva based cleaning uh, uh, stains. And the last one is a smear away with the red cap. It's very strong cleaning solutions with a strong anti-dust repellent properties. Also, they have two different uh, uh, swaps. Uh, one of them is orange, uh, the other one is green. The orange is a polyester type of fabric. The green one is a sort of microfiber. Uh, the green one is called MXC100 and the orange one is called DHAP. The orange one in general is thinner in uh, thickness uh, and uh, only compatible with Vidas Plus. Uh, so if you can see the lining is a lot thinner. And um, so if uh, only compatible with Vidas Plus, you do not want to use the water-based cleaning solution on orange, otherwise it's going to streak. So we start with uh, sensor clean. I love the sensor clean because it's general purpose cleaning. It's very easy to use. Also, it's an uh, excellent uh, cleaning solution for saliva-based uh, stain. Before we start, make sure there's no gravel or quartz or microscopic particles on the sensor. So just uh, have a couple of puffs there. Make sure you use uh, um, a ZIM blower. It has two filters. It just has one-way air uh, intake from the back. It doesn't take the air from the nozzle, as you can see. So it just doesn't suck in the con contaminants uh, inside the blowers. If you use, and also it has embedded particles, ionic particles within the um, components of the body so it produces uh, anti-static charges. If you use other blowers, jumbo blower, narrow, high intensity blowers, you're going to damage the sensor because they produce projectiles like aiming guns at the sensor with the bullets. So uh, once the, we are sure there's nothing on the sensor, uh, the visible desk by the way has a new uh, tool uh, called the uh, curve saw. It's quite handy. It's a sort of curvature. You insert the uh, handle of the swab. In this case, we'll be using MXC100. MXC100, the green one, is compatible with all three liquid solution, contrary to orange one, which is only compatible with Vidas Plus. So, we start with uh, sensor clean. We had about three drops. We allowed sufficient time for saturation to take place. We gently enter the camera chamber in a horizontal uh, fashion, and then we turn to go on the edge. Once approaching the end, gently roll over. Then if you want to exit, turn the uh, swap and uh, do the inspection. Once it's, uh, the sensor is clean, stop right there. If the sensor is uh, required the second time pass, uh, just uh, reinsert the swap, take the swap out, turn 180 degree and reinsert the swap back. Use the opposite side of the swap. Again, go in the same direction. Take the swab out, do the inspection. Once everything is uh, completed, uh, just a step right there. Thank you.